So one of two things is probably happening right now. Uh, the first one is a conspiracy that uh, social media networks just for some reason don't like me. Uh, I was suspended again for seven days on Facebook for rubbish. And it seems like I can't even appeal anymore. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try and find someone at Facebook South Africa to see if there's some red flag list or something that I'm on that keeps suspending me for rubbish. And where it seems that I can't even appeal when they've made a mistake. I was trying to go live on YouTube this morning and it kept reconnecting there as well. And I just found myself frustrated because that's what's been happening with me and, and Facebook. And that's why I've stopped going live on Facebook because my videos keep reconnecting and it becomes a mess. So I'm pre-recording this, sadly, because I'd like to go for longer without, you know, and be able to read maybe certain comments while I'm, while I'm up, while I'm filming, so to speak. The other look more plausible, more probable situation is that either my phone software or there's something in the background that keeps interrupting my lives or it could be that my wi-fi network provider telecom for some reason is just fucking me around when i go live regardless it's just making me really really sad because i really enjoy going live and pre-recording is not it's great of course but it doesn't feel as intimate for me i lost my voice for a couple of days last week Luckily, it sort of almost came back just before we shot Ututuzane Zuma with uh, DJ Sbu for the virtual Nkuku last week Thursday. The interview came out this past Monday, yesterday. Um, so at least my voice, you know, people could hear that my voice wasn't great, but it, it held its own. So I was happy with that at least. And then I got to shoot some other content as well, which is pretty cool. Um, happy August month. Uh, geez, no one tell Will Smith that Jada is in August. Fuck. What am I saying? But yeah, man, happy August month. Um, we're almost out of winter. I hope you guys have taken care of yourselves. Of course, load shading was a fucking bitch. Um, a lot of us are frustrated because fuel prices have gone up. Um, food prices have gone up. It seems like the South African president, Cyril Ramaphosa, just doesn't care at all. It seems he is bulletproof. There were questions asked about Ipala Pala and the new acting public protector. I think Advocate Kalega, I could be wrong. But she sealed his answers, so we can't see them. <laughs> Just like his uh, bank statements were sealed by the courts. You know, guys constantly sleeping at events, even now at the ANC National Conference, policy conference. Yeah, man. Um, what I realized is I think the more we keep expecting Cyril to respond to us about important things, the more we keep expecting the media to report on Cyril Ramaphosa, the more we keep expecting courts and senior ANC members and ANC MPs and other people to be honest about what ha what's happening with Cyril, what's happening with Palapala, uh, what's happening with ESCOM and Praveen Kordan and Andre Tareta, what's happening with the seemingly privatization of SOEs. Where are the funders of Cyril? Why can we not see his bank statements? Why was Uandile Ramaphosa not dragged for getting money from Bosasa? I think the more we keep expecting these answers, the more we look crazy. You know, we're becoming these obsessed, crazy people. Guys, the answers are not coming. They're really not coming. So one of two things needs to happen. Number one, we need to find an alternative way to remove Cyril. And maybe remove the entire ANC without using the courts, without using the law, without asking for the media to help us, without even asking for the international world to help us. Because clearly, they don't really care as well. So either we remove these people in another way, or number two, we just fucking carry on with our lives, man. We accept our president does not care about this country. His funders do not care about this country. Senior ANC officials don't care about this country all they care about is money and their positions and titles and we need to just keep moving that means focus on your job and work harder focus on running your business see if you can do work in your community see if you can make your own cash if you can try and move to another country elsewhere try and get dual citizenship but just carry on moving because these politicians just seemingly do not care and i'm not going to keep being told ah oh, let's punish them in 2024 I know elections are fucking Fukazi. 
And I don't know, even in the ANC, I don't know if in any of the political parties, there's going to be anyone that's going to do a better job. So here we are. We're in August. Um, life is moving ahead. My life has made progress. Um, I'm really happy with my social media wins this year. I made a decision in December that I'm going to really pump more on social media. End of last month, uh, my YouTube subscriber list broke 20,000 subscribers. So I'm very happy about that. And I just want to thank each and every one of you on YouTube that have been supporting my channel, that have been watching my videos. And as of last month, like people have joined as members, paying members. We've got three uh, tiers, levels of le membership. There's one for 10 Rand a month. There's another one for 100 Rand a month. And then there's one for 450 Rand a month. So I've got 18 members now. I'm hoping to grow that uh, because that's going to help me monetize my channel. And I mean, for the fact that I got to 20,000 subscribers and I'm still filming on my phone in my little room in my flat, it makes me very happy, you know, and it's also teaching me to respect the process. I understand some of the subscribers that have joined, some of the people that have started watching my content. It's from my 154,000 followers on my Facebook page, Pennywell the Black Pen. So some have obviously come in to support. Some people saw me with DJ Smoo on the Virtual Nkuku slash the Hustlers Corner channel. Um, and then they've come to support me here. When I joined the Hustlers Corner in February this year, uh, Smoo was at about 40,000 to 45,000 subscribers. And since I've been there, we've managed to break over 100,000 subscribers in five, six months. We're currently on 110,000 subscribers on the Hustlers Corner channel on YouTube. That's fucking amazing. My TikTok last month broke through 100,000 followers. I'm on about 105,000 followers on TikTok. And I'm going to use my TikTok to post short educational videos, solutions, and then obviously snippets of other interviews and other content I've made elsewhere. Um, my Instagram, I believe, has broken through 14,000 followers. My Twitter has broken through 15,000 followers. Um, I'm blessed and I'm very thankful. So the one important thing for me is I do not want to chase followers. I do not want to chase subscribers. I know how dangerous that is. What happens from there is then you start making the type of content which is going to get views and reactions. And that's not what I'm about. You know, I made a video two days ago about Michali Ndamasa and Leroy Sidambe and their relationship. I made that video because I wanted to talk about it and because I thought there was a teachable moment, you know, about a married person who's not divorced being with um, a very famous socialite, Michali, celebrity in South Africa and what that kind of means. And then speaking about the idea that there are slay queens that chase off the men with money and what that means. I thought that was a teachable moment. I thought it was cool. Um, I didn't do it because I was like, ah, which topic could actually trend? Because if that was the case, I'd definitely make sure that I'm only posting celebrity gossip. I'd make sure that I only comment on the hottest soccer games, the biggest trending stories. I'd literally just go on Twitter and see what's trending and then make a video, make a title that's clickbaity, that's riding the trend, um, just so I can get views. Uh, but that's not what I'm about. I'm trying to make content with substance trying to make sure that my content is educational trying to make sure that i connect with you guys on an intimate level where like if you meet me you'll be like i i feel like i know you dog like you speak to us like we're there with you so i'm really trying to create like a genuine connection and relationship with you guys um of course it's important to discuss current trending stories especially where they affect us of course I enjoy, like everyone else, sports, what's training in sports, what's training in the celebrity world. And talking about it, having a fat laugh and seeing if there's some teachable moments from there as well. So as much as I appreciate that I've grown on my social media platforms and that when I walk in the streets, people are asking to take photos, people are thanking me for my content. It means the absolute world to me and I do not take it for granted. But please understand that I'm not chasing followers and likes and reactions. I'm trying to create substantial content, content with substance that you can watch four, five, six years, 10 years from now, 20 years from now and be like, that was powerful. That's why we still go back to Tupac Shakur interviews. He was spitting fire. That was relevant to this day. 
Malcolm X spitting fire, relevant to this day, not just trying to be cool in what was trending at the day at the time. So yeah, man, and I just want to make sure even in the Virtual Nkuku, the Hustlers Corner podcast, that the type of interviews we're doing, you know, and DJ Spool uses this term evergreen, but it's the type of content that you can come back to over time. We're basically not making pop content that is just cool for now. And then five years later, like, oh, I don't even know what this means. The type of content that you can watch and be like, oh shit, this is, this is powerful and it's, it's still relevant to this day. Another very cool thing that happened, uh, I have now officially got a new show, The Panel Show, uh, on its own channel. Uh, we released our first episode yesterday, Monday, the 1st of August, where I was interviewing my brother, Penson Mlodra, and we were speaking about masculinity, politics, gender. You know, um, I had a good time speaking to him, and I'm looking forward to having more conversations with him. A lot of people that uh, fuck with my shit were really happy to see the show and they're like, it's about time, which tells me what I already know, that I need to have my own platform where I get to be myself. The Virtual Cook is great. I'm there with DJ Smoo. It's an educational platform. We invite great guests. But I want to have one-on-ones with people and I want to have them in a different way because different platforms have different cultures. Podcast and show with Mac G and Sol have got, has got its own culture which upset some people and which other people absolutely love. The Virtual Nkuku Hustlers podcast has got its own uh, culture. I went to visit Nkululego on culture. He's got his own vibe and space going there. I'm, I visited Lungelo KM in Durban. He's got his own thing going there. So people are creating podcasts and each podcast is going to have its own vibe. Whether it's the host's personality, whether it's a certain theme, topic, or maybe it's the type of guest or whatever, but it's got a vibe. So I need my own vibe. And I decided from end of last year that the two platforms I want are number one, I want to create something like the Joe Rogan experience where I'm having hard hitting, stimulating intellectual conversations with people that I like, people that I find interesting, even if they're not famous, even if they're not rich, even if they're not politicians. And I believe the panel show is going to allow me to finally do that. The second thing is I want to do something like Trevor Noah's Daily Show. And I'm going to be doing it on my channel, Penuel the Black Pen, where I discuss current affairs. What's happening in the news? What's happening on the ground? Where we discuss solutions. I love solutions. Where you and I have a conversation. How do we solve load shedding? Or at least in our homes. How do we plant fruit trees in our neighborhoods? And that's one of the things I really want to push moving forward. I want to go around buying these small fruit trees and going to townships and planting them there and trying to find representatives there who are going to water these trees and give us updates on how are the trees growing? Have they sprouted fruit? Because I want that to be my contrib- one of my contributions to the world. Penol was going around planting fruit trees so that people don't grow hungry. Don't go hungry. You know, um, it's obviously Women's Month. Happy Women's Month to all the women out there. Um, so we probably want to be doing some charity initiatives around Women's Month. Of course, sanitary towels, as per usual, very cliche, of course, but very impactful because it does affect uh, girls' lives. I'm hoping we can do some care packs, not specifically, specifically this month, I want to do care packs for boys as well. We always do care packs for girls, roll on, toothpaste, toothbrushes, you know, some girly things. I would like us to do care packs for boys as well. So when we go out there, boys can also get roll on, toothpaste, toothbrush, a toothbrush, whatever else that boys might need. Because I like the idea of inclusivity. I know females have got unique, special needs, but I don't want us to leave our boys out there. I want us to all know that we're in this together and we're fighting to win together. So the Virtual Nkuku Hustlers Corner podcast, please go and support that. Thank you very much for all the support there, all the comments there, meeting you guys, learning from you guys. Um, please go and subscribe to and follow the panel show on YouTube, my new channel. I'm fucking excited. Uh, there's some hot interviews that are still going to come. Um, and then next week on the 8th of August, if all goes well, um, we're going to release my conversation with MacGyver and Usolo Omzi Penduga. So Mac G and Sol, I was with Mac G and Sol on Saturday and we shot a solid, solid conversation I thought I was going to be there for 15 minutes, just talking about politics and being a friend of the show. 
um, because I know my brand is not that big as yet. Um, so I was going to respect the process. Let me come as a friend of the show. Let's have a chat, 15 minutes. But then the guys are like, nah, fuck it. We'd like to go for an hour. You know, Pennywell the Black Pen. Want to speak about your religion of penalism? What the fuck? And we spoke about politics, of course. It was meant to be an hour. We shot for like two hours, man. And if it wasn't for the fact that we were running out of tape, <laughs> we were probably on a fucking go for five hours. Had a great time with the guys. Really honored to have been with them again. Really proud of the work that they've done. I'm a chiller myself. A chiller is someone who is a member on the channel. So I pay a monthly subscription to the channel Podcast and Chill because I support and I believe in what the guys are doing. They are almost at 700,000 subscribers. They are impacting South Africa, Africa and the world. And they are now beginning to bring on the type of guests that are pushing proper education, proper solutions. The guys themselves have set up a chillers market where chillers can trade with each other. You know, they are beginning to travel the world. They are, it's amazing for me. It's really, really amazing work that we all need to join into. I want to Duzani Zuma to come back so I can have a conversation with him, whether it's with Zbu again or just me and him having a one-on-one -on, -one on the panel show. Um, I'm hoping to have a sit down one-on-one -on -one with Ntlantla Lux soon, who's become a, a great mate of mine, great leader on the ground. And I really support all specifically young leaders that are putting their hands up and understand leadership. Leadership is hard. People are not going to like you. People don't like me. But the more young leaders we have, that are serving, not just making nice noise, cracking jokes, saying the things you want, that are actually putting in the work on the ground, cleaning their neighborhoods, helping old people get their pensions, helping children get their grants. What I want to do, planting fruit trees in Makasi, educating people about the power of politics, teaching people about the importance of local community and making sure that money circulates. That's the type of leadership we need in this country. And the more young leaders we have that are serving, the easier it's going to be later on for people when they have to vote, when they have to support, when they have to fund leaders, they'll be like, what have you done for us? Gaten McKenzie is blazing a trail in the Western Cape. Zamani Sol of the ANC is blazing a trail. We've seen the work that Upanya Zalesufi has done as the MEC of basic education in Gauteng. Amazing work of service, public servants that are serving. We need to get our members of parliament we need to get our ministers, the cabinet. We need to get any president that we have. We need to get all politicians. We need to get all government workers. We need to get normal South Africans to understand that, guys, we have to serve and build this country or else it will explode. We need to educate and upskill our people so that we can live in a better nation. We're dealing with so much right now. Tavern killings. Um, atrocious, horrendous story of... Gang rapes in Kriersdorp, Krugersdorp, where people were shooting a music video. Fucking heartbreaking. So along with planting fruit trees, one of the other things I want to do, I want to get as many good people as possible to visit shooting ranges and learn how to use a gun. I want to get as many good people as possible to begin self-defense classes and to get physically jacked. So that if a criminal is coming at you, you can fuck him up. If you've got a gun, you can defend yourself and you can protect your family. Yo, so... I'm quite excited. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. Please don't forget again to be members on my channel, Penny Wild, the Black Pen. 10 Rand a month, 100 Rand a month, 450 Rand a month. I can use that money to do some of the work that I'd like to do. And obviously, where possible, I'll document some of it or I'll tell you about it. And you'll start seeing some of the content out there. I want to serve. I want to be the solution. I want to be one of the people doing the work on the ground. Of course, on the side, I want to be building my religion, penalism, which is a cult. And I want to find the people that actually want to fully follow me as their God, as their religious leader, as their cultural, spiritual guru and guide. Obviously, I've got fans. You know, I've got followers on social media who love my videos, who love what I have to say, what I have to teach. I appreciate that. Some of them obviously call themselves panelists, and that makes me really, really happy. But I want to make sure that I have a core group of real panelists who actually wear black every day who actually contribute to the work that we're doing, who actually fully go out there and say, Penol is my God. I am a believer in penalism and I follow the penalism principles and I'm part of this elite group, just like South African Jews, just like South African Muslims, just like maybe Afri Forum or whatever. 
I am part of this elite group of panelists that is going out there and is making a fundamental change in this world to be better. Non-racialists, non-sexists don't care about nationality and borders. We care about humanity and human beings and making the world a better place. It's an exciting time for me. I hope it's an exciting time for you. And I look forward to engaging with you guys more and more moving forward. I love you guys very much. I hope you love yourself. Believe in hard work. Fall in love with hard work. Love your family. Love your community. Be an asset. Be valuable. The world is waiting for us. Now is our time to rise and actually change the world and dismantle all systems and create new ones that will allow us to win. Penny all the black pair and have a great day. And I'm looking forward to meeting some of you guys very, very soon. Cheers.